Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm just doing a brief video uh, because I have received uh, an enormous amount of requests for uh, information on this Conkey that I'm using. Now, this Conkey pretty much gives you most of the information that you need on a daily basis. The reason I'm I'm using it is I keep track of my temperature because I just put a new um, cooler in a CPU cooler. And uh, I, I just want to make sure that the temperature stays within reasonable range. Um, and so this one here gives you CPU percentage, your CPU temperature, um, your desktop workspace. Uh, it gives you your hard drive utilization uh, and your RAM utilization. Shows you the kernel that you're running, gives you the time, the day, and the date. Uh, so it, it gives me everything that I need, and it's very configurable. If you if you know the basics of Conkey configuration, you can go in and change colors and things like that, font sizes, things like that. So uh, this Conkey uh, was basically the Conkey that is used in the uh, Feliz installer. The last version of Feliz that I used this Conkey came along with it and I really liked it so I uh, I'm using it most of the time it is open source so uh, you guys can feel free to use it now um, I'm gonna give you the Conkey RC configuration file uh, I'm using just the Conkey uh, program um, I've also configured this using Conkey colors and this is also set up in the in in the manner that works best with the GNOME 3 desktop. Uh, but I have used this uh, on XFCE, LXDE, so it should work pretty much no matter what you're using. Now I'm going to include a link to my GitHub account, and you'll see the Conkey RC. So it's going to be the Conkey RC file and just copy this uh, f file you see here all of this text copy it to a text file I usually save it as dot conky RC put it in my home folder as a hidden file and just run the conky uh, set up conky to run automatically in your desktop now that should be pretty easy to do um, I've gone through that in the past XFCE is pretty easy. Uh, I'm a actually, GNOME 3 is probably one of the more difficult because you have to set up a desktop file to uh, to initiate that. And what I've done, if I go into my home folder dot config auto start, you'll see the Conkey uh, desktop, and that is the start command. And I'll show you that. That's the start command for Conkey. And basically it starts Conkey 10 seconds after the desktop appears. Just to give everything else time to load. So that's how you have to do it within GNOME. That's the easiest way to do it. There are other ways. Uh, but that's the, that's the way that I have found is easiest. So guys, I'm going to include this... Um, this conkey now in the top section above the text line this is where your location is this is set up for top middle you want to pay attention to the alignment you want to pay attention to the gaps minus 60 and 100 you want to pay attention to the minimum size and down in the bottom is where you can change your um, specifics so for example you see this time percent I colon percent M that basically gives you um, a 12 hour clock uh, without seconds just minutes so that's what you see there I prefer a 12 hour clock to a 24 hour clock um, this color 0066 FF that is everywhere you see that 
that is the light blue it was white I changed it to a light blue and so uh, everything down here uh, is has to do with the specifics now when you get to the CPU temperature uh, mine is set up for the hardware monitor it's a sensor this is important so if you find that the temperature is not displaying properly come down here you can change that 0 to a 1 and then pick the core that you want to designate as uh, visible in the conky. So guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, thank you for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care